we have already started the morning show that fish off loud and proud what can you even pick the thing up mark <laughs> <laughs> it's a handful. Good job, man. That is a big old beautiful American this red. This is my first one for the year. Heck yeah. So we were actually um, freelining back some just big chunks of cut bait. That's a big old piece of Spanish Mac. That's a solid 12 to 14 pounder, I would say. Maybe close to 15 because it's super, super fat. Y'all hang tight. We're going to catch a lot more red snapper. Today, I believe we're going to try to do a catch, clean, and cook for you guys. So it's going to be a good one. Y'all hang tight. Logan's on a big fish, y'all. Big fish, reel down and lift with these snapper. He's got a big old bend. Yeah, we're gonna go move off the. Yeah, move off the spot. Smooth, man. Smooth. You got him. You got him moving. Turning the boat. Landing net, Mark. Where are you with the landing net, brother? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yep, 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 yep. I don't play. Nice fish. Yeah. Nice job, Logan. Nice job, buddy. Congrats, man. Beautiful fish there, y'all. Beautiful fish. There we go. That was the one Logan was lifting on. That is a solid caliber fish. What would you say, Logan? 10, 12 pounds? 10 pounds. Probably. That one's going to get to join his buddies. We got a couple in there already. Those are quality fish. I don't know. What do you think the length on that fish is, Logan? Probably 26 28 inches long Probably. hey man you know what that deserves boom y'all we're gonna be eating some fried red snapper at mama's house it's gonna be fantastic check it out y'all we threw the cast net this morning and caught some fresh pogies just let her free spool out mark you want a real natural you want slack line mark is up front with his big conventional he's paying out a big bait doing a little bit of a live chum and see if we can get some of these guys fired up that's good stuff. That right there is money in the bank. And you can see the particles. Particles. Let him run. Don't stop it. Man, you got a free spool to make it look natural. You got to keep feeding that line out. That's really important, y'all, is to keep feeding line out. Don't stop. Do not stop the bait. Keep feeding out line. These big, big fish are smart. They know when the drift is not natural. What Mark is doing, he's paying out line. Paying out line non-stop we're not looking we are not looking for little snapper today y'all we're looking for big ones and big ones are smart you got to be smarter than them sometimes that happens y'all will do a drift and you may get the bait knocked off of there and you may not even feel it i see some i see some snapper mark go ahead and reel in man we got fish under the boat right here i'd go ahead and crank what you can do is you do a drift and you don't get a fish just crank it in do another drift is the way to go all right, we're going to wind this one in and see if we can't get one on this next drift. All right, y'all, got a bunch of big snapper behind the boat. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a big one. All right, Logan, you got the one. Landing it. Y'all know the drill. Ooh, that's a good one. Nice and smooth. Ooh. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. That's a good fish. Oh, yeah. That's the one we've been wanting. Uh, Hot dog. Come on, baby. That might be bigger than the other two. Yeah, he's pretty tough. Good thing on the Saragossa. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on, boy. He's coming up, though. Get ready, Logan. Whoa. Is he deep color? Only big fish show. Oh, he's coming. That's not a small one. Oh, that's a nice one. That's not a small one. Easy, Logan. Easy, Logan. Ah, another oh. one. <laughs> 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 Come on around. That might be the, that's, the biggest, that's the biggest one. <laughs> Look at there, y'all. That is a beautiful beautiful sight we've uh, got a limit a really nice snapper and uh that is some fantastic eating so i'm excited to meet y'all back at the house and we'll clean them up 
Check out this nice trigger fish, Logan call it, y'all. They call this a trigger fish because you cannot push that fin down as hard as you push. But that one right there, crazy parrot teeth, like a squirrel almost, y'all. If you put your finger in there, you're gonna be in trouble. Logan's gonna let this one go because season is closed on these guys. He's gonna revive it a little bit. You can see they swim, they use these top fins. They're kind of a unique, a unique critter. That would be a legal fish, but season is closed on those guys. And there he goes. Logan, boom, nice job. What's happening, y'all? We have made it back to the boat shop and we made it back to the fish cleaning table. Got one of our snapper. Now it's not one of the biggest ones, but this is probably pretty typical of what most people are gonna catch. We're gonna be using two different knives. They're both Dexter's. One's a serrated, and one is a straight blade. I really like a Dexter knife. And like most fish, kind of, Clean a sheep's head or a uh, red snapper to me is a lot like a sheep's head. There's kind of a little chink in the armor right there under the pectoral fin. I'm gonna make a nice angled cut. We wanna get all that meat and then turn that blade just nice and easy. I didn't even take it out of the fish. Just work your way back. One good clean cut, knock the scales off of it. And I can feel that knife working its way right down the backbone and peel that fillet up just a little bit see that beautiful white meat in there man what they're kind of renowned for Go up and over the backbone and push through but i'm going to believe a little bit attached right there to the base we're going to go up and over up and over the rib cage just working the knife through there nice and nice and easy Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Spin her around. And that does not bust open the, the gut cavity there. Y'all, we keep all the guts in place. I'm gonna switch over to the straight blade. There's a little row of red meat and pin bones right down the middle. There's a little bit of gristle right there. It's gonna go in the gut bucket. And just, now this is why we left it attached. You can kind of hold on that piece of skin and you pull the filet into the blade. That's some bones and red meat. We don't want that anyway. Look at that. That is a beautiful, beautiful. Now, if you're real particular, you can trim a little more of that red meat out. I typically don't do that. There's also, you can see on top here, these are where the fin, fin muscles are. That's usually gonna go in the gut bucket. But that is some premium product, y'all. Simple as that. That's how you clean an American Red Snapper. And crew, back in the kitchen with my big sis, Brenda. You guys know her from previous cooking episodes. We're doing another recipe for fresh fish from the Gulf. Now we're using some Red Snapper that we caught today. Some kind of nice little bite size chunks we got there. So we're gonna take this and we're just gonna put this. this are we going, right are we going, are we going all of them in there? in there? Oh yeah. All right, and we did pat that dry. We were just yeah, talking to one of our you friends. You want the eggs to stick on. A lot of times, if it's wet, it will run off. We were just talking to our buddy Lou Childry. Shout out to Lou as well. He was asking. He's like, "Why doesn't my batter stick?" And it is very important for the fish to be dry before you go exactly. to your dredge. And you know what? Since we're talking about that, any of you ladies out there that ever make chocolate dipped strawberries. If you want that to be successful, make sure your strawberries are dry and it makes a beautiful coating. There you go. Tip so of the day. So what we're going to do here, and you're going to have to get your hands involved. I'm oh, sorry. okay. I didn't we're know We're going to have to get our fingers I can't involved. Use, I can't use the fork? Nope. Okay. It won't, it won't work. So you're going to pick up a piece, make sure it's good and slathered in the egg. And this, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. This right here, wait, yeah, I'm sorry. That's okay. This right here is the, um, we took one cup of panko. Bread crumbs, just the plain ones, not what? flavored. One, one cup. cup, and we did one half cup of coconut. I use sweetened coconut. That's what we used today. Mm -hmm. It turns really out good. good. It's really good. All you do, and you put about a call for a teaspoon of salt, which I think it's a little too much salt. I did a half a teaspoon of salt, right. and that's all this is. That's what this crumbly mixture is. Now he's gonna take that piece of fish. Let me show you what I want you to do. Go for it. You're gonna you're gonna crown oh. that on there, okay. and you're gonna bunch it. Like oh wow! You're gonna. Bunch it like that as good as you can, and then you're gonna flatten it out nice so that it fry, you know, it'll fry up quick. Gotcha. That's what I need you to That's do. That's more aggressive than I am. Well, I'm very aggressive with my coconut. <laughs> I was gonna, I'm gonna use no. the 
Good. I'm kind of used to panko. You kind of get a little bit. So it's like bury it. Bury it. Bury squeeze it. it. Squish it. There you go. Squeeze it. And okay. then squeeze it out kind of flat because if it's too it thick, again. it won't cook in the middle gotcha. before the crust gets ready. Okay, while he's doing that, while he's doing that, I want to tell you about our dipping sauce. Okay, this dipping sauce is Honey Dijon Orange Marmalade. I took one half cup of just orange marmalade, whatever brand. I just used the public brand. Half a cup. One fourth cup of Honey Dijon Mustard. One fourth cup. One fourth cup of honey. And then we did a couple splashes of a uh, sweet chili sauce. You don't have to do this, but if you want to kick it up a little, or you could put a couple shakes of hot sauce if you want to jazz it up. All that is. Stir it up. It's going to be so delicious to dip that fish in. We're just doing a knockoff of the coconut fried shrimp. Yeah. We're like, why can't we do fish? Oh, yep. those are looking great. How's that? That's not, looking great. That's great, not too great. shabby, huh? So while you are doing that, I'm going to make sure our oil is hot. This is so quick. This is such a quick recipe, guys, if you get your prep work done ahead of time. And I'm Everybody, you guys know Mark, my brother, Marky Mark. He's going to be our fryer. Everybody, I thought I was coming in and they weren't big. I thought they were just talking. Like, ah. We didn't know we incorporated Logan. Sneaking in. Logan's a cameraman. All right. We're going to let that get just a little bit hotter. You do not want your grease smoking, but you do want it pretty hot. So we're going to kind of we're going to kind of test it a little bit. I'm going to get a little mm -hmm. piece of coconut mm -hmm. and we're going to kind of see. It's right Real there, close. Man. All right. So we're going to steal these right quick. Yeah, go right ahead. Finish and just leave those in sure, the pan. Sure, gotcha. And we're going to do these. And you want to put like half of them in or what? Uh, yeah, you... let's see how quick they brown. Let's start with maybe four. Oh, yeah, they're going to brown fast. So, here, like, go ahead and put about six, and then they'll be about ready to flip. I need to turn this. I'm going to turn this oil down just a little. These cook super Ooh. fast. We cut them in small size nuggets so that you could dip them with the sauce. Let me get you a fork. I need a fork right there. I got a fork. Oh, you do? Okay. Oh, okay. All right, check. I'm just kind of, the first one you put in, just kind of look and see. Yep, flip them over. They brown really, really fast, so you won't want to cook them long. Yeah, and since long they're, long. Maybe yeah, a minute. Not long at all. You don't want the, you don't want to burn the coconut. But you do want it crispy. These are looking good. Oh, that one's pretty. Purdy, purdy. All right. I'll probably take them out with this, don't yeah, you think? If you want to. Now, you can, if you want, let's go ahead and move these over. And you can go ahead and put a couple more in. The grease, has, the grease has cooled down a little bit, so you can probably put about two more in. And then Joe's probably I'm about done finished. He's got the messy job. I'm chasing the last one he down. He's got the messy job. Yeah, that's okay. I don't mind. Mm -hmm. There we okay. go. There's four more and one more little, one more little tidbit. It take long. Want your gets down to the end, it gets okay. kind of tricky, but I'm gonna do like okay, Brenda said. Look at said. these, Logan. This is what they should look like. Look at that. Gorgeous. 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 That was almost the exact right amount of bread. Yeah, that was perfect. Oh, you got some more? Yeah, he's, we got. We could kind of do a big platter of them. They're like hush Looks puppies. fantastic, but yeah, yeah. Tell you what, you talk about impressing your company. This is a. This is a meal. Yeah, this they're is, good. Something that people would be like, oh my goodness. All right, let me get the rest of them for you. Gotta keep them Start. rolling. Turn this oil down. It's stove. Yeah, oh, it's so hot. hot. It's a It'll hot stove. This will cool it off. We put it in. Oh, man. Those should be ready, probably. Well, they're cooking fast. Yeah. They're small. Like, really like fast. This. Oh, they look so good. They look so good. Mm. Yeah, these are a showstopper right here. Yeah. Snapper bites. Snapper bites. That's what we call them. Coconut snapper bites with oh, honey sorry. Dijon orange marmalade sauce. Yes, we are. Y'all, I'm not even kidding. The dipping sauce, if you like marmalade or something with a little zip, there's, what we're gonna there's a little do. sample. Brenda's going to plate that for us, make yeah. it look all... I like Gorgeous. my food to be pretty. Oh my goodness. So if you want to impress your company. Yeah, let's get a platter of that. Look at this. Oh, oh it's hot, 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 hot. hot. Oh, they smell divine. Divine. Dang it, that one. I want this little crunchy one right there. And here's another bowl of the dipping sauce. Ooh. I'm going to steal that one. 
Mom, you ready for you ready for a sample, Nana? Oh my gosh. What do you think? That is crazy good. And again, this is a basic people people have had mm. coconut shrimp. And I, I was always so intimidated by coconut shrimp. It's really no, it's really easy. It, is easy. it was it is, very it's, easy. It's but way the easier. fish is a nice twist. Mm. Gives it a nice twist. Oh, look so at look like at that look, Logan. Beautiful. Look at that white meat. It cooks fast. Absolutely beautiful. Mm, okay, it's my turn. Go Ooh. for it, sis. Mm. It Come is in. messy. It is messy. Oh, in a good way. It's really juicy too. Mm. That panko crusting with the coconut. Come here, mom. It's absolutely delicious. It's really good. Mm. Absolutely delicious. All right now. Okay, well, Joe. I think that's, I mean, I'm that's pretty about, close. Are we going to get Nana's reaction? We're going to get Nana's reaction because without Nana, this would not have happened. Nana's she, kitchen. Because she wouldn't have been here Nana's without me. Nana's shopping. <laughs> that's right. I wouldn't be here without you, Nana, with Captain Joe. Or Marky Marky. Or Marky Marky. Or Logan. Or Logan. <laughs> okay, we'll see what you think. All right, Nana, big bite. Got to give everybody an honest oh, review. You told me I didn't give a big enough bite. Big bite. Lots of sauce. Mm. Mm. That's good. Mm. It's mm. not good. Uh huh. Mm hmm. 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 I've got a fishing charter tomorrow, so I got to go get the boat ready. But we are so fortunate once again to have Brenda down here visiting us from North Alabama. Logan's a cameraman back there. He's hey. hiding, but you know he's back there. He's there. And Mama Joy, thank you, Mama, for letting us use your kitchen. And of course, and your credit card. And, and your <laughs> and your credit card. Thank, it's thanks, burning. Mama. It's burning. It's smoking. smoking. And Marky Mark. Mm, yummy. Y'all. Captain Joe here with Island Marine Charters, Fish Bump TV on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys next time out.